All right, can we talk about Kim Kardashian's pinky toe for a second? I'm taking a look at her pinky toe. I saw this video on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh. So when your pinky toe doesn't even touch the ground, the whole foundation of your foot is thrown off. Your foot works like a tripod. Heel, big toe, pinky toe. Remove one point, no more stability. So this also messes with something known as your windlass mechanism. That springy lift in your foot is this mechanism, a combination of it. And you need that to be able to walk. And I always compare this, like when you're walking, you want it to be more of like a spring effect absorbing force versus banging a broomstick on the floor and how that absorbs force. So we need this to lift your foot and it needs it to walk efficiently. Without pinky toe engagement, your foot overpronates or supinates, stressing knees, hips, even your spine. Stiff shoes and heels make your foot muscles lazy, weakness sets in, and boom, bunions, plantar fasciitis, collapsed arches. Trust me, I've seen feet that have squeezed in little, little shoes for a while and they're not pleasant and sometimes can cause some issues down the road. So this isn't just a toe problem, it's a full body issue. So give those toes some love. Either get a wider shoe base or try different exercises after you're wearing these shoes to be able to mobilize and open up the arches. So I'm not talking about don't wear your shoes. I'm just saying have a solution for when you get back home to be able to take care of your feet so that you can get them back to connecting to the ground and giving you force up your back line or support up your back line.